Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC, and we're here at the NetApp booth. And I'm here with Eric Barton from WAM Cloud and Gerard Maluso from NetApp, HPC Product Manager. You are CTO, as I recall. That's correct. Uh -huh. But we're here to talk about something new, the open benchmark for Lustro. What's that right. about? Right. Well, you know, Rich, the, the problem is that Lustro customers don't today have any objective way to compare a storage system from one vendor versus another in a Lustre environment. So WAM Cloud and, and NetApp got together and we've proposed a Lustre benchmark for the industry that we call the Open Benchmark for Lustre. Okay, so so how, I mean, what, what's the objective of it, Eric? Is, is it all about just making a level playing field and getting the apples and oranges out of there? Absolutely, we want to have apples to apples comparisons for different vendor storage subsystems. Um, up to now, it's all too easy for individual vendors to make um, outrageous claims for the performance of their of their hardware. And if there was um, a reliable audited um, benchmark that uh, vendors couldn't gain, um, that would um, allow people to make direct comparisons, I think that would be good for everyone. So, Chard, what stage is this at right now? Is it in the fledgling forming an organization, or where, where is it at? Yeah, good question, Rich. Um, it's definitely in the formative stages, so we've, we've created the concept, and we announced it here at SC11, and we're inviting the entire industry after SC to join us in finish defining you know, what the program is and what the configurations might be, how you might measure something, how you might report something. So, and that's why the word open is, uh, is, is in the name because it's, it's an industry initiative for the benefit of the end users. And if it doesn't serve the end users, it's not worth doing. So it's something at the fledgling stage like this, how would a, a, a vendor or yeah. even a, a customer or somebody that wants to engage, how would they engage? Right, so there's a, there, um, the information is both on NetApp's website and WAMP Cloud's website. There's also an alias that people can email to to express their interest to join a working group or some kind of committee that after SC, you know, we'll get together and work out the details. So in the best of all worlds, and we're at SC12 yeah. in Salt Lake, yeah. Is it foreseeable that this benchmark is in place with an organiz a neutral organization that's administering it and we're reading about numbers of the open benchmark? Yeah, hopefully actually before that. You know, our, our goal is, um, is let's say, you know, by the end of January to finish defining the benchmarks between January and before ISC for whoever wants to run benchmarks, to run them, to get them audited. We're hoping that initially WAM Cloud will do the auditing. And then uh, at ISC, we'd also like to announce whoever is going to be the going forward steward of the program, someone who's more neutral than certainly the NetApp might be perceived to be. And WAM Cloud, of course, is already neutral. But, you know, so possibilities might be OpenSFS, EOFSFS, one of the other benchmarking industries, uh, sure. benchmarking sure. organizations. So, so, Eric, I want to throw a, a question out of left field because I just did an interview with the guys from the Transaction Processing Council, yeah. and we talked about the problem of the, the company with the most money to throw at the benchmark and throw enough hardware at it wins. And it, in, in the case of transaction processing, like if you throw millions of dollars to do this one run, you got the best number. Is that going to be the case here? So, I, I think we'd like to have two things out of this. One of them would be. Um, the large sites can have bragging rights, but really the real intention of this is to normalize the benchmark so that you can compare um, cost per gigabyte per second, say, or uh, power consumption uh, for the performance that you're getting. And therefore, when people are selecting scalable units to build out their Lustre file systems from, they have a metric that's reliable, uh, less than compare. 